residents can't park in front of their own homes because the cars are stacked literally bumper to bumper. Many of those cars belong to residents of this condo complex, even though they have dozens of empty spaces. And they say the problem's only gotten worse in the last few weeks since the arrival of Phil's Barbecue. Lines are out the door at the newest Phil's Barbecue in Rancho Bernardo, much to the delight of the owner who we spoke with opening night. Well, hopefully the impact to the community would be the 110 employees that we've, uh, we've hired and our staff and also the, uh, the revenue that we're going to be bringing into uh, the neighborhood. But there's something else Phil's brought, cars. Employees aren't allowed to park in the small lot, so they go out into the neighborhood next door. But that poses a problem for people like us who do have to use the street because our kids have cars and um, you can't put three cars in a two-car garage. We saw more than a dozen Phil's employees park on these side streets, then race to work. We have more crime now in our neighborhood um, than ever before. All the unattended cars have been a juicy target for thieves. The residents want Phil to provide parking for his staff. And they've been fighting for 10 years with the Waterbridge condos, saying they don't provide enough parking for their own residents. But we're willing to sacrifice to get them out of here. And all we're trying to do is force them to do something, force them to add parking. Brian Cuck helped start a petition for the city to require parking decals for public streets. It might come too late for Lynn Ann Reed. We're going to be selling and getting out of the community, mostly because of this. In Rancho Bernardo, Jeff Lasky, 10 News. I feel like that person moved.